Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're talking shop, or shall I say, today we're talking mop. So I'm gonna inter introduce you guys to the Superior Mop Package, which is a definite fan favorite of everything in the catalog. If you remember back to my intro post when I said I would rather be doing anything other than cleaning, I'm not a cleaner. I love the mop, it's actually like an appliance in my house, I keep it out. Kids, cats, dogs, you name it, it's out. So I'm gonna introduce you to the package first, then we're gonna run through the house and some of the accessories. So the package itself includes the telescopic handle. So whether you're shorter, whether you're super tall, it's got you covered regardless of how tall you are. To get it right about right, you wanna put the green, um, the green ball right somewhere between your nose and your chin. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. This guy spins, so we got a little ergonomic, you're not having to like, don't mop the heck out of the floor. So with the dry pad, which is your yellow pad, which 100% of the time you're gonna do this first, this guy's gonna replace sweeping, and I like to call it sweeping on steroids. If you're mopping the heck and you're pushing and stuff, all you're doing is really crushing the fibers. And what that doesn't let you do is, it doesn't let the fibers get into the slats. For instance, if you have hardwood, if you're pushing them down, it's crushing them. You wanna be light on your feet. And just figure eight pattern, moving backwards, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight and just let it float across the surface. So that's the dry pad. Let's meet the wet pad. So the wet pad is where the silver, the silver agent lies. The dry pad being dry does not contain our backlog. The wet pad does because silver activates in the presence of water. So with the wet pad, after you've dry pad, 100% of the time you're gonna dry pad first because that's picking up the bigger pieces, particles, debris, pet hair, all of that stuff. The wet pad is your finisher. It's gonna pick up anything that's maybe stuck to the floor, dried juice, dog slobber, anything that you guys have. Um, no huck and buckets. We're not using any harmful chemicals on the floors. We're just using water. So take the wet pad to the sink, give it a good rinse, get it nice and wet, jelly roll it, ring it, and then I say ring the heck out of it, especially if you have hardwood floors because you don't want any seepage into the slats of your hardwood. Again, with the wet pad, with the slats of your hardwood, always with the grain in the slats, and you're off to the races. When you're done, take it back to the sink, give it a rinse, jelly roll it out, and then with the tab, either hang it to dry, take it off the base, either hang it to dry or lie it flat to dry. So the mop package comes with the wet and the dry pad as I just showed you, but there are other pads that are available as well, which I'll show you a little bit later on. The one I wanted to bring, you know, let you guys know a little more about is this is the chenille pad. So this is, the, it's another dry pad. It's great if you've got pets. It's a little bit bigger than the dry pad. It's got the finger like projections of the microfiber as you can see here. I call this the fast and furious. This is my day to day. Want to get the mopping done, just pick up you know, the bits and pieces so your floors aren't crunchy. It doesn't make as good of a contact as the dry pad. I use the dry pad when I'm hitting the floors. I am cleaning the floors. But this guy I use just to pick up the bits and pieces. As I said, this is my daily one, the Fast and the Furious, that's the chenille mop pad. As you just saw in my Norwex Y, if you have pets, or there's a lot of debris on the floor, you're gonna get some buildup on the front leading edge of the mop, which you're gonna to wanna to take towards the garbage can. And you may need a dustpan if you lift the pad up off the floor, there could be some on the, on the uh, debris left on the floor. So just grab a, a little dustpan, a wet enviro, pick that up, shake it out, and you're done. To clean the dry pad, the rubber brush. Take your pad, sweep everything into the garbage, and when you're done, sweep it back up, stands up the fibers, restatic charges, and you're ready to go. Did you know that the mop pads are larger, longer than the mop base, uh, base by design? Off-centric, don't set it into the center of the pad. This is gonna go into your corners now. And with this part, you've got a little floppy edge, you can actually train it and it goes under the kicks of your cupboards and along your baseboards. Have a look at this little edge. Did you know you can hang it on the edge of your countertops and it doesn't fall on the floor? Did you know that the ball on the end of the handle is also awesome for scrubbing scuff marks off of your floor? 